Good morning. Okay, so Virgo season is upon us. Virgo season officially starts on the 23rd of August. And I want to give you a little insight on how you can feel supported and empowered during this beautiful season um, with plant allies, with, with astro herbalism. So first, let's talk about Virgo. And if you are a Virgo, this is for you. If you're Virgo sun, if you're Virgo moon, if you're a Virgo rising, this is all for you. And even if you don't have any placements in your natal chart, in Virgo, you still have Virgo in your chart, right? Like we talked about last time, everybody has every sign in their chart. Maybe you're a Pisces sun. And if you're a Pisces sun, then that automatically makes Virgo your polarity. And it's important to pay attention to our polarities because they're our greatest teachers. They're on the opposite end of the spectrum from us. So often, if we're Pisces and we're imaginative and we're creative and we're spiritual and we're tapped into that dreamy kind of world of the divine and all those beautiful things, we need to ground down as well, right? So then that's when we call on our polarity of Virgo. So that's just an example. So plus we're entering this season as a collective, right? So I want to offer you all some inspiration and support with herbs that will make your experience richer. So let's talk about Virgo. So Virgo is an earth sign, okay? But Virgo is also ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of communication, which is airy and quick. So although Virgo is earth and grounding, there's a mercurial essence to the sign, which activates communication, which activates um the mind and the nervous system because there's that quick mercurial energy. But Virgo is so grounding and Virgo is so pragmatic and Virgo is so usually paying attention to the details. And it's a sign that has taken me kind of a while to understand because I don't have any Virgo placements and I don't know too many Virgos. Now I know more. And now I happen to be with a Virgo and He's the most wonderful Virgo I've ever met. <laughs> and it's because he really embodies that acts of service. Virgo wants to serve. Virgo is like, hmm, how can I help this person, this person, this situation, and really up-level everybody's experience, right? And they do so by paying attention. They do so by... That's that paying attention to details, maybe asking a lot of questions and just being aware and caring, right? There's that, there's that sense of like, I really care and that's why I'm invested in this. They're also incredible problem solvers. So analytical, pragmatic, they're like, oh, we can fix that. We can figure that out. Okay, let's, let's find a solution, right? Virgos, beautiful for that. Um, what else? We are coming out of Leo season, which is, you know, abundant and prosperous and regal. And we're coming into Virgo season, which is like, here comes our apples. Here comes, you know, all the fruits that were, that were coming to fruition during Leo season. It's like, now it's time to organize them. <laughs> right. Which is another, uh, amazing quality of Virgos. They want to organize. They want things to have their order and their space. Like I find that when the moon is in Virgo, I'm, I'm cleaning my house. I'm, I'm organizing my things. I can really dip into that energy and put those organizational skills into play, for example. So Virgos like to do that as well. 
All right, so now let's get into, okay, so Virgos being that earth sign, but being very like mercurial and stimulating. So this means automatically that Virgos with, with our bodily systems, Virgo rules our brain and gut access, right? So huge huge with our gut being our second brain, if not our first, right? We have three brains, our brain, our heart, and our gut. Where they are in, in line is arguable, right? But our brain gut access, super important. So that's going to bring out herbs like, or mushrooms like turkey tail. So turkey tail mushroom is excellent for gut health and maintaining that healthy gut flora, right? Providing those constituents within turkey tail that your the good bacteria in your gut just feast on. And when your good bacteria in your gut are feasting, then you're thriving, right? So beautiful. Turkey tail, cardamom. Who loves cardamom? I love cardamom. Oh, it's one of the best flavors and one of the best smells ever. And it happens to be really good for digestion because Virgo also rules digestion. So brain, gut brain access, digestion, um, and that balance between the spirit and the earth world, right? Turkey tail, cardamom, uh, ginger, of course. Ginger is stimulating. Ginger is good for our digestion. It's good for our circulatory system. It really gets things going, brings heat to the body. Love ginger. I'm going to throw in lion's mane as well because lion's mane is that cognitive ally. Lion's mane mushroom is that cognitive ally that helps you really focus, helps your brain create new neural pathways and you know, helps with brain fog and memory, and it really just like keeps your cognitive sharp. So that definitely is under the dominion of a Virgo. Um, not to mention an incredible immunity ally as well. So, oh, fennel is another one. Fennel is very much ruled by Virgo in that, again, you know, it's that digestive quality. It's that like bringing in those herbs that help move our our food along and not just our food right it's like energetically it's like what what is hard to digest about my life right you ever ask yourself that question like oh there's just like this thing that is really hard to swallow literally it's hard to grasp it's hard to sit with it's it it's uncomfortable it's like you don't want to digest it because it's it's uncomfortable. And this could be a situation, this could be a relationship, whatever. So that that fennel, that cardamom, that ginger is helping you digest those things on a physical level, on an energetic level. Because let's remember, friends, all of our beautiful plants also have an energetic signature because they're living beings and they embody these beautiful spirits that that you know are here to also work with us on an energetic level and that word comes up as well for virgo embodiment that earth sign how can you be more embodied how can you feel more connected to your body how can you show up in those ways embodied um with that axis right that like airy access, but let's be grounded in that airiness as well. Cool. So I hope that helps. Those are great herbs to work with during Virgo season. Um, and have a, have a beautiful one. Eat an apple, <laughs> right? This is apple season. Like also that's amazing medicine. Have an apple and bite into it and be like, oh, this is so such a divine gift coming from the earth. Um, and yes, enjoy. Happy Virgo season and see you soon.